guys, it's me Stormy and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of November 26th, moving us into this first week of December, which is super exciting. But I want to tell you the theme that I see for this week definitely has to do with relationships. We've got Venus forming her third and last um, opposition with Uranus happening this Friday and also communication. Mercury is on the hustle this week, making lots and lots of different connections. So it means that communication is going to be important to us this week. But something I want you to keep in mind is that we're in a Mercury retrograde and nobody's exempt from it. So everybody is essentially walking forward but we're thinking and looking and our minds are kind of focused backwards. So of course, if we're all walking forward, but looking backwards, we're gonna walk into each other, right? So try and have a little grace with each other this week, especially we, because we've got Mercury and Mars coming into a square with each other right here at the beginning of the week on Monday, November 26th. So this doesn't necessarily make conversation any easier. It doesn't make, um, you know, decisions that we're trying to make, there could feel like there's a lot of attention, attention, tension around them. But remember the job of a square is to put you under pressure. So it creates a space that you don't like being in, there's tension, there's conflict, and you're gonna take an action to get out of it, right? So with this being the, the idea of what's trying to happen here, you're trying to move and act and think your way into um, a more serene space or a space of less conflict, but it does mean that conflict could rise up or tension in some way, shape or form. Now, what I think helps that is that Mercury is on the hustle this week. Um, on Tuesday, the 27th, we've got Mercury. Oh good, Mercury kind of comes into a little bit of chill because it's gonna make um, a conjunction with the sun and Jupiter. So I think that this is phenomenal for expansion, phenomenal for being open-minded if you've had tension over here at the beginning of the week. And then you get into a space where you're like, okay, wait, I just need to think about this. I need to think about it from a different perspective. I need to consult people, maybe get some feedback on something that's happening this week. It'll help you see it with a different perspective. As well, with that, we've got the sun, moon, fire trine happening that exact same day. Now when the sun, when you've got this kind of beautiful fire trine, one of the things that I love about fire energy is that it just kind of flames, right? It flames, it does what it does, and it's like, hey, I don't have time to be running around being super sensitive, getting all personally attached to this stuff. So I don't need to take this personally. I need to think a little bit more objectively about what I'm doing because I have a goal to get to, right? I have a, I'm firing, I'm burning forward, right? So it's a beautiful energy. So if you keep that in mind in this first part of the week that there could be some tension, we've gotta have some conversations, maybe gotta make some decisions, maybe you even feel a little out of sorts with your insides for a little bit. If you will come at it from a different perspective, there's new energy there. And please try not to take things so personally this week. I mean, seriously, don't even take yourself so seriously this week, okay? Give yourself a break. Now, as we roll around here to Friday, um, November 30th, we've got this last Venus and Uranus opposition happening. Now, because this opposition is happening between Aries and Libra, and these are our relationship, um, this is our relationship axis. It's the, the axis of you and the we, right? The me and the we. Um, one of the things that this can do because it's in an opposition is put you at odds in a relationship. You're on two different sides. You think about things differently. You're not able to reach the compromise. It's certainly an energy um, that will point out issues in a relationship. If there are issues, if there's problems, if things need to come to the surface and you need to see them, it'll definitely point those out. I do think depending on how it shows up in your chart, it could be an energy of a sudden breakup. And this is not just a romantic breakup. This could be a split of a relationship, you know? Maybe you're like, look, I am over here making myself crazy. I'm taking things way too seriously, but I know that every day that I come to this volunteer position, every day I come to this job, every day I hang out with this person, I just feel like crap. And you decide that you wish to to break that up even if just for a time um, that may be something that happens now the other thing we've got mercury in its retrograde moving back up into scorpio in the beginning of december here right december 1st december um december 1st right there so what this means is not only do we have retrograde mercury so conversation is looking back a little bit but in the energy of scorpio it's pretty deep it's pretty intimate it's pretty um 
intense. Scorpio is an intense energy. So it could certainly be a week for intense conversations within relationships. Now, Sunday is going to be interesting as well because Venus enters into Scorpio on December 2nd, which is the Sunday. So we've got Venus and Mercury up there. They're in that Scorpio energy. It's conversations about relationships. It's about value. It could be about money. It could be, you know, is your partner not showing up to the table with their, their amount of value in this relationship, whether that's a business relationship or whatever. The other thing I'm thinking of, depending on where the Venus energy, where that Scorpio energy sits in your chart, you could be needing to have a split from your daily routine as well. So keep that in mind, you know, depending on which house this energy falls in for you at the end of the week, really keep an eye on that so you can see where that, that Venus Mercury energy is trying to bring in something different, but you've got to see the ickies down there first so that you can make the swap and the adjustment. So if it's that you got to get a new relationship with another person or a new relationship with you and your routine, you could find yourself being a little bit irritable, but ultimately uncovering what needs to shift in it this week. So I think it's going to be a good week. I think it's going to be a busy week. Oh, and it does look like here too. Let me just throw this in there. Side note. Um, also on Sunday, we've got the sun and the moon, or excuse me, the sun and Mars, and they don't seem to be having a nice conversation here as well they're in a square to each other so again your your who you are and your actions look like they're they're in conflict within each each other and this again will spur you to make some kind of new decision try to look at it from a wider perspective see it from a different angle and that may show you the adjustments that you need to make okay all right, you guys, I hope you have a beautiful week. Take advantage of your 45,000 subscriber gift, and I will see you beautiful friends next week. Bye.